I'm Caleb Davis and I'm going to be looking at an old field woody today. Now check this out. This little lamp doesn't look like much as far as size and power, but by the time we're through with this I think you're going to see a little different narrative here. This amp is full of punch and full of amazing tone. Let's take a look. First thing, old field amps are handmade in Charlotte, North Carolina. The old field woody we're looking at today is a 5 watt amp that comes with an 8 inch speaker. This one has a warehouse G8C in the back and uh, it's got 12AX7 preamp and a 6V6 uh, power tubes so it's a handmade all tube amp point to point wired these are amazing amplifiers high 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 quality amp let's take a little look at what we've got here so as you can see there's a volume and a tone and that's it now you do have these switches over here to give you a wide variety of tones but the volume itself is really your effect pedal. I mean, the more you drive this amp, the harder it's gonna break up and it's a super cool sound. This tone is bypassed by this top switch here. So if you switch down, you have bypassed the use of this tone and you're only using it over here now. Um, boost is exactly what you think it would be. It's a boost, it's not just a clean boost though, it's gonna be kind of a, um, uh, I just thought, a really nasty lead type of boost where you get more saturation and then this NFB is a non feedback loop <clears throat> so let's take a look at where we're at just straight ahead right now <laughs> pick up really nice and clear let's look at the uh, bridge pick up here gets you that really nice fender tone this is a part of their 59 series and I think you don't have to be too creative to figure out the 59 is kind of a nod to the basement so um, yeah it's gonna get you some of that old fender vintage tone really nice um, let's uh, let's bump the volume up a little bit <clears throat> we're gonna go up to about three o'clock here on the volume so you can see already we're breaking up now here's what's nice about this. Listen to how responsive this is. I'm just going to lighten up on my touch a little bit. Now see, I just dig in a little bit. It breaks right up. That's what you want. There's no pedals run right now, so uh, this is just the amplifier, and this is the way I typically run my rig anyways. I don't use a lot of pedals. Um, I like to use the amp driven and then clean up using my volume switch. Now 
overcook and listen to this. <laughs> You know what? Let's hit the boost from here. Let's see what happens with the boost. No change in volume yet. Let's go back. Listen one more time. Without the boost. With the boost. No boost. Boost. You definitely see it makes it saturate a lot harder. Let's go ahead and crank it guys, what do you say? Let's go ahead and go for broke here. Tones up, volumes up, let's see what we got. to this little amp. Let's really put it to the test. You can see now, I've got the boost all the way up, I've got the volumes all the way up. Let's see if it'll still clean up. up just fine. Watch this. Ready? The roll of the volume. guys really sensitive amplifier really gonna help you guys out a lot who uh, if you enjoy playing with the amp and the guitar this is a great this is a great pick for you because I mean if you if you want to throw a whole bunch of pedals in front of your amp then it doesn't really matter what your amp sounds like but if you really love the sound of your guitar and you need a good amp to complement that you can't ask for better guys <laughs> Just in case, uh, if you're just a glutton for punishment, let's find out what this thing sounds like with humbuckers. Okay, so I've got my Les Paul here, um, and I'm not going to change anything on the amp just yet. Let's just leave it where it is. We're wide open, we got the boost on, we got the volumes all the way up. I promise you what you're getting ready to hear is kid tested, mother approved. Wait, no, wait a minute. Nine out of ten dentist rec- wait a minute. I don't know. It freaking sounds awesome. You ready? One thing is really cool, I noticed, 
it doesn't really seem to fart out. You know, a lot of the Fender amps, when you get them really like uh, really turned up, sometimes they don't remain real clear. I don't think I have that trouble with this. <laughs> and a guitar that's all this is no pedals that kind of sustain come on give me a break this is awesome <laughs> See if it'll do the Van Halen trick. So if I'm finishing up my, uh, you know, I'm finishing that up. I'd say it does it just fine. No pedals, folks. I literally just rolled the volume off the neck pickup. indeed old field woody guys five watts of p funk power okay five watts of awesomeness check it out check out oldfield.com they have a great website set up you can find all the information you want on this amp and all the other models they make support local business it's a great thing to do make sure you tune in if you like what you see subscribe leave me some comments below look forward to seeing you next time we'll review something else cool see you then <laughs> Hey y'all, thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you next time.